Okay, today I'm going to show you how to add an advanced action to a button to open up a file or a demonstration or whatever you want to open up. Pause the slide, including the audio, and then be able to come back and continue your slide right where you left off, including to play the audio, which seems to be an issue. So when you have it open a URL or file and you have the URL in here, if you go to the options, even if you stop the slide audio when clicked or paused, whichever, it doesn't matter, it doesn't restart the audio. So we're going to fix that. The way we do that is we're going to create an advanced action. And we're going to go click the little uh, button here to open up a new one. And we're going to do this from scratch so you can see how to create one. First, you're going to give it a name, so we're going to say Open Glossary. I have to be able to spell first, right? So uh, we're going to do the same thing that we did before, where we're going to um, open a URL or file. And in this case, we're opening our glossary, but it could be a demonstration or a simulation or even a document. And we want that to open up in a new window. We also want to, at the same time, pause this slide. All motion, all audio will pause when we do this. And then we also want to show, in this case, um, a little bit of text that tells them uh, when they've clicked on this, it's going to take them to the other screen. They're going to watch the demonstration or the glossary. When they come back, it will show this text that says, Click the play bar to continue. So we'll save our action. Okay, and it's called Open Glossary. Now the important thing is, when you come over here, it did not select that. So you have to remember to go there and select the one you just created, which in our case is Open Glossary. Then in the options, you want to have Stop Slide Audio, but you want to choose when paused, not click, because in our advanced action here. We added a pause and that will make it pause it and then when they click the play bar, because we're using the play bar in this instance instead of a button, we could have used a button but we're using the play bar, it will restart the audio and any animation which you have going on here. And that's all there is to adding that to a button.